Welcome back to That Simple Guide. In today's guide, we're going to take a look at how to add audio that plays automatically or manually on click to one or all slides on PowerPoint. If this video is useful, please consider subscribing because my goal is to eventually reach 100,000 subscribers for the silver play button. So in order to insert an audio file, you wanna go up here to the insert menu and then all the way on the right here under audio, click on that. And then you can choose to insert an audio from your PC or record an audio directly in PowerPoint. So I'm gonna choose one from my PC and I've got the sample audio file here and let me click on insert. And now we've got a couple options up here in the playback tab. So for example, here we can select when the audio starts playing. So with this option selected, it'll play once you click or you can choose to play it automatically when the, when the slide shows up. Then there's the option to let the audio play across slides. So if you check that box, what will happen is if the audio is still playing and you go to the next slide, the audio will just keep playing until it's all finished all the way. If it's unchecked when going to the next slide, the audio will stop playing. Then there's also the option to hide during show. So if you enable that, the whole player thing will be hidden during the presentation. Okay, so that's how you add the audio to one slide. Now, if instead you wanna add it to all slides, then the process is a bit different. So in order to do that, you wanna head to the view tab up here and then enable the slide master view. And so what that will do is over here, it'll open up the different possible slide layouts. And if you wanna add it to all slide layouts, you can just add the audio source in here. So let me just do that. So head over to insert and audio and select the audio again. And you might notice I've got another section up here. That's because I have two different themes in this presentation. And so what I just did, if I close the master view again, that added it to all slides with this theme, but not for the other theme. I'd have to add it there manually again as well to add it to all of those slides. And now I also cannot edit it from here. And instead, if I wanna adjust the settings, I'd have to go into view and slide master again and from here. And then here where I inserted it, I can go ahead and adjust all of the settings up here. All right. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.